most of us never really get to where we want in life. We never reach the level of success. We never try big enough because of fear. Fear holds us back. And I want to talk about in this video how you can become fearless so that you can reach any pinnacle, so you can reach any level of success that you want and not be held back by your fears. Let's roll. Hey, what's up? My name is Ellis Hammond. I'm a full-time real estate investor. I was a college pastor for several years in full-time vocational ministry, and now I'm a full-time entrepreneur. We own more than $100 million of real estate. Uh, we run another company, and I make these videos to help inspire other kingdom-minded entrepreneurs who are really serious about building a legacy and uh, want to do that in the marketplace. And, you know, I was watching the other night this movie on Netflix. And if you haven't seen it, you have to go watch it. It's called 14 Peaks. And it's about a guy from Nepal who uh, builds a Nepalian team. And then they go, they go summit the 14 peaks uh, in seven months. And what's so crazy about this movie is that the last person to do all 14 peaks, they did it in seven years. And he does it in 17 months. It's like this impossible, most crazy documentary you've ever seen. And it's so inspiring. But what hit me is that there's a line in the movie and they're interviewing him. And he says, um, what makes me so powerful, because he is a powerful guy. Like this guy's freaking G. <laughs> like, he says, what makes me so powerful is that he said, I have no fear. And that really stuck with me as I thought about that. And I think what keeps us from being powerful in business. And by the way, if you think power is, uh, is something bad, it's power is neutral, right? You, you make it good or bad. So not to get off tangent, but I, I want to help you become powerful because I want to see you succeed and do amazing things. I think what there's something really true, like just true in that. And he says, I'm so powerful because I have no fear. And you watch him summit these peaks and you watch him get caught in blizzards and avalanches coming down, you know, and the fact that he continues to pursue his goal of what he's trying to accomplish. And I thought about that, you know, we're working on a massive deal right now, one of the biggest deals that we've ever worked on. And there is a potential that we don't close this deal, that we lose a lot of money, that our reputation's on the line. And as I thought about that, I'm like, what's really keeping me from getting this deal closed? Why am I so scared to maybe make some of these phone calls or go after the uncomfortable ask or go to some of my previous mentors and ask them for capital or help? And as I thought about that, it's because I'm fearful. I have a lot of fear still in this business. And those fears are keeping me from taking the actions and doing the things that I need to do in order to reach the level of success I know I'm capable of. And so I've just had some time over the last day or two to just write down some of those fears. And in and, and, and full transparency, here's some of them. Like, I'm, fe I'm fearful of failure. Like, I don't want to fail. Why? Because I'm, f I'm fearful of what people will say or think of me, right? That my reputation would be hurt. I'm fearful of kind of being seen as needy, of like I need from I need something from someone. I'm fearful of being the young entrepreneur who didn't work out, right? That I gave it this good shot and maybe I'm just not as good as I thought I was. And so those were just some things I wrote down. Like I'm fearful of what my wife would say if I fail, right? I've, we've taken a lot of risk as a family and letting her down. Um, and so it's, it's, honestly, the reason I share those with you is because that was a powerful thing for me to write down those fears. And then, and then this is what I did. I asked the question, what if all those things happened? First of all, let me back up and say, how bad are those things? You know what, you know what I'm not fearful of? And I think if you're watching this video, you're probably the same. I'm not fearful of being homeless. Like I'm so far from being homeless. I'm not fearful of being broke. It would be, almost be impossible for me to go broke because I know I'm hireable. I know that someone would hire me. I know that I could go get a job if things don't work out. Like the real fears of things that would put my family in real jeopardy or real danger, they're not even on the table. The things that we, I think we really fear are theoretical things. And so it's good to really realize that, but then it's good to play out. And so I just thought about like, what if I do lose my reputation, right? Like what if someone thinks, oh, I'm not as good of an entrepreneur? And then I just started to play these things out and I just began to ask myself that question like, is the, is, is the reality of that thing happening, 
is it actually that bad or is it just something that's really keeping me from from going to the next level and I think as I wrote those things down and I looked at those I said how bad is that really like so what if my old mentor thinks I'm needy because I'm asking him for something right so what if that's a really uncomfortable situation what am I actually missing out on by being held back by those fears and so if you're in you know we're at regardless if you're an entrepreneur if you're a parent right if you're a pastor I just want to challenge you the question with today is like what do you fear are you still fearful of things you know there's plenty of times in the Bible one of the things that God says to Joshua right before he goes out and and battles the the Philistine army says do not fear do not fear be strong and courageous for I am with you there's this constant iteration in the scriptures of God telling his people do not fear I am with you it's because fear holds us back fear is a limitation it affects the mind it affects the body it affects the spirit and so especially if you're a Christian as I am realize that a lot of what we fear is our identity your identity is secure because you have Christ your identity you're a child of God that's one so I think that identity roots us secures us you have the Holy Spirit you have a power that works within you that you can tap into that Jesus said I'm I'm going away so I can send my helper have you tapped into that right and so there's so much I think that we fear that um, that can be that we that we can overcome a sim- simply by laying it out simply by realizing what is the worst case scenario and if faith is really important to you is tapping into that because God commands us not to fear why because he wants to be with us so anyways I hope this video helps I know it certainly helped me even today as I was thinking about what I fear it, it challenged me to make some phone calls to make some text to people and I have some responses right now some some yeses actually I'm looking at a guy right now he said hey yes yeah, send me it over this was a guy that I've been kind of on my list for like two weeks I didn't want to call because I was just scared what he was gonna think about it and so I sent him a text this morning he said hey man I got a deal would you look at it yes yeah, send it over so the best way to overcome fear is just to tackle it hope this video helps make sure you think wealthy Cheers guys